Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to watch Hello Good Game. Today is a sponsored video by Magic the Gathering Arena Assistant. The best tracker you can download for Magic the Gathering Arena available to everybody for free who's on Windows via the link in the description below. Check it out, see what you like, leave your comment and thoughts below. Today we'll be breaking down 10 reasons that you need to be using a tracker in Magic the Gathering Arena. Let's get into it. All right. First off, in my opinion, the metagame analysis is beyond important. So let's get into our client here, jump into it. It's really easy to access. Uh, once you install it, you just open it up. Of course, I guess I should run you through that first. Install it, detailed log, click that, enable it. And then you'll get this when you open up the game. Easy peasy. So the first tab that I want to mention is the metagame analysis. And of course, this is all resizable, which is quite nice. And the standard best of one is up top. Standard best of three. Standard tournaments. Historic best of one. Historic best of three. Historic tournaments. We also have a brawl metagame analysis. So what this does, it's looking at the logs of all of the users on Match Gathering Arena. Uh, analyzing that information and presenting it to us in a, a really nice format. So not only can we see what's popular, right? And then like work down the popularity here, but we can also see the average win rate and even how many games all of this information is based off of. And if we wanted to buy that deck in paper, how much it would cost us to do so. So this is, in my opinion, the greatest addition that you can have within the game you get general awareness of, you know, what's everybody playing uh, within the different uh, styles of gameplay, best of one, best of three, historic, et cetera, et cetera, right? And then you can also see if you have all the cards or not. So you can see, uh, you know, maybe some decks you didn't have all the cards for, and one of these decks maybe you did have the cards for, or we're only missing a few wild cards. Um, that's really nice to know that uh, you can work towards something, and this is the path of least resistance, right? So not only are you gaining general awareness of what's being played around you, you know, what decks am I going to be facing against off, uh, facing off against, but, uh, you know, what decks might I want to be using? Because, you know, typically the popular decks are the best decks to be using. And of course, again, we get the win rate analysis on all this as well. So the metagame tracker, in my opinion, is one of the best reasons to use a tracker in Magic Gathering Arena. We also have personal statistics on our own decks, right? Uh, within the metagame, we're getting statistics from everybody's information. And now within the statistics tab, we'll get our own information, which is really cool. So we can see which of our decks performs the best, which ones aren't performing that need to be cut, uh, maybe adjusted, right? And then, you know, when we are really looking to win games, push rank, we can focus on some of our best decks. So, you know, it shows your decks, it shows your win rates, how many matches you've played with each of them really really cool stuff uh the same goes for your drafts and you'll also get uh, a list of your opponents which is really really cool as well but we're going to get into that uh in a little bit moving on we do have the in-game uh deck tracker which is really cool i'll throw some gameplay footage on screen so you can see an example of it but what this is showing us is our deck what cards remain in our deck and the percentage for us to draw said card. Now, of course, this isn't perfect because it doesn't necessarily take into account uh, your scry effects to the bottom, uh, things like this, but it does give you uh, a very good idea. It's not that far off, and it will, again, raise your general awareness as to, A, what's in your deck, you can get into situations where you may need an answer. You can have a quick look. Do I even have an answer for this? Um, you know, you can also try to forecast your best play, see if things are really viable or not. Uh, one of the most important things for me is the land drop, uh, looking at the percentage of dropping a land um, for my opening hands, right? So, you know, if I have two lands and I need to have four, but I only have a 24% chance of drawing a land... You know, I may want to mulligan and find a third land because it would take, you know, however many turns to draw that land at a 24% chance, right? So, um, with that being said, the deck tracker is amazing. Uh, just the general awareness that you'll receive by using it 
uh, is incredible. Not only that, but if it's not a deck that you're super familiar with, just like kind of browsing your deck at any time to see, you know, what is my best play here? Uh, how can I shut my opponent down? You know, it yields massive results and can increase your win rate. So that is one of my uh, favorite abilities to, uh, you know, really focus on within the deck tracker because, you know, a lot of this stuff is just generally helpful, but this is something that will actually improve your win rates uh, through general awareness of, you know, both your deck and your opponent's deck as cards are played. Really cool stuff. Moving forward, we have the Draft Helper. Uh, again, I'll get some screenshots up so you can see footage of this. This is amazing. So if we do decide to draft, uh, which I do recommend if you want to play for free, you'll see I have almost 60,000 gold here, farming up to around 70,000 gold so I can draft the whole set as soon as the quick draft comes out. I don't want to be drafting against humans. It is the quick draft that I personally uh, will dump my gold into and really get most of that collection uh, out of the way. With that being said, uh, the draft helper will give you uh, information and comments from world-renowned uh, content creators and draft and limited specialists that uh, have you know weighted opinions that you should take note of, especially if you are new to draft or you're new to limited, you're just learning. Uh, this is a great way to kind of help you get on the right track, right? You see their opinions and now uh, you learn through association. Uh, you know, you see what kind of cards have these opinions uh, tied to them. And then as things go on, eventually you won't even need to be reading uh, all of these opinions. You'll just know uh, these cards are good, these cards are bad, uh, right? And you'll begin to increase your win rate within draft, which is actually really nice. So the draft helper uh, might even more so be better uh, than some of the other things I've mentioned if you're not a beginner, right? The things, the reason I mentioned them first is, you know, they're really relevant to everybody, whereas the draft helper is kind of getting more into a niche audience, but still super, super helpful, increasing your win rate by building better draft decks from selecting better cards. It's as easy as that. And I know they are looking to improve the draft helper uh, as we progress here throughout the year, uh, helping you not only pick cards, but then build decks based upon those cards, which is really cool. So check out the draft helper. It's really cool. Uh, next up, we are back in to the deck um, advisor. Now, this is something that is actually hidden within the menu, but you can find it. Go to your collection tab and then go to deck advisor. This will show and recommend decks for you to play based on your current collection, right? So it's going to show you decks that you have all the cards for and then like sort them down based on how many wild cards you'll need, right? So this is really cool if you're new to the game, you're a beginner, you're not really sure what decks you should go after. This will kind of give you uh, that direction to go after, right? And it's like, well, I only need to spend two wild cards for this deck. Awesome. Let's try it out. Uh, and you also, of course, get the uh, the win rate and the percent of uh, the metagame that's using it as well. So really, really cool stuff available through the deck advisor. Uh, one of the best functions for beginners. So once we are you know, aware of everything, we're playing the game, we're collecting cards, and we're looking to try new decks. This is, uh, you know, something that should be utilized much more often than I think it currently is. Getting on with it, we also have uh, the ability to look at our opponents. This is awesome. Within Arena, the social system is kind of flawed because we are having to, you know, make friends first and then add them. Whereas with the last opponent played, we can now add people uh, just with one click, boom, copy to clipboard, you get in here, you add your friend, paste it in there, easy, right? And now you can talk to that person about the match, maybe exchange decks. So really, really cool stuff uh, available to kind of upgrade the existing social system structure, uh, which should be in the game, but it's not. And I'm really grateful that uh, Magic the Gathering Arena Assistant provides that for us because, um, you know, I like to kind of talk to people while I play. And when you are playing in the top mythic like we are, you do run into the same people over and over again. So, you know, you can open up the chat. You can be like, nice. It, it gives a little bit more depth than just the emotes. And, you know, of course, it uh, comes down to mutual respect. And, you know, you do make friends and delete the delete the, the, the crazies or whatever. But, um, you know, as an adult, we should be able to discern this for ourselves. And, uh, you know, it's really cool to be able to make magic friends, in my opinion. So last opponents played, 
you know, add them to your friends, start talking to people who are playing Magic. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Next up, we have our wild card crafting. So back over to the collection tab into our wild card crafting. So uh, if we look at my account, I actually just did this. So we drained a lot of our commons and uncommons, but even our rares, you'll see that over time as you play for two to three years like myself, they'll start to stack up, especially when you do start trying to finish your collection effectively so you're not draining wild cards into it. With that being said, there were sets like Jumpstart that were very hard to collect. And, you know, we just go right here. We select Jumpstart. Say I want to use all of my common on wild cards. Boom. Here's the 564 missing common cards from Jumpstart. I've got a lot of collecting to do within Jumpstart. We copy that deck list. We jump into our game. Go to your decks. I might have to delete a deck delete that's fine and then we just import that list that we just got and it's going to have all of those cards in it right here uh for us to be able to craft which is really really cool um you know you just craft all we we don't actually have enough wild cards to do it right now but uh you know we just drain them and of course you know it does do a deck of 250 cards for you to craft so you know it does burn through them really really quick and i think i went through 2000 wild cards the other day just trying to fill my jumpstart collection um you know speaking of our collection you know the collection stats in general are really cool uh take a look at that page as well you get to see all your stats for all of the different sets and uh you know my jumpstart this is what i'm talking about everything else you know 80 percent 90 percent 70 percent on some of the older stuff uh, you know, some of the newer stuff that just came out as well, not so far along. But the jump start is like, oh my gosh. And it's so hard to collect. You can't buy packs, you can't do drafts. Uh, at least once a year you can do them, but it's still really hard at that. So, you know, I use all of my wild cards to help fill my collection because it is my goal one day to have a complete collection. And this is a great way uh, through the wild card crafting and just general awareness of what my collection is at and what packs I need to be buying. Uh, to get there. So with that being said, we also have, you know, a really cool ranking system. This is taking account uh, everybody who's using this system, which is pretty cool. And it just gives you um, a little bit of awareness of who's the best in the world or some of the best in the world. Right now, my account isn't linked. I'm having some issues linking it on the back end. I sent a ticket, so we'll get on here soon enough. Um, but it's really cool. You can see, you know, where everybody is that you know uh for example here's covert go blue number 487 from yesterday you get to see how many matches he's played his average win rate um really really cool stuff uh, available to you guys both for the constructed and for limited um so you know just again general awareness and if you're anything like me sometimes a little bit of healthy competition is good it gets you up it gets you active and trying to complete and achieve your goals with that all being said, finally and certainly not least is the media tab. We can see A, who's live on Twitch right now. Very, very cool. We can see articles that people are writing, right? Some of the best creators like to write in long form. If you guys like to uh, digest your content in article form, it's available to you right in game. The same goes for the videos uh, from content creators uh, like myself and, you know, so many others which is really cool. And this is all, again, available to you in-game, which is really, really cool. Of course, you can join the Discord. There's also the Twitter here. You can support, uh, you know, by becoming a premium member to get rid of the ads. But again, the ads are not overbearing. You know, this one's been in refresh for the whole time. So, you know, you get one little ad and that's it. It's fine. The value far outweighs the, the, the small cost of that tiny ad. And even that, it costs you like, a dollar or two to get rid of it so really easy stuff uh here to accomplish within aether hubs magic the gathering arena assistant i've been using it since its release we just had version 2.0 come out right now uh it's better and you know i had a conversation with uh the creator of it or one of them and you know they've got big plans for it so this is going to uh really take off and become a staple mark of magic the gathering arena i hope you guys got uh, a little bit of an idea as to why 
it is so important to use a tracker in Magic the Gathering Arena, whether you decide to use the Assistant or not. I know that the Assistant isn't available to people on Mac yet, so we're waiting on Overwolf. And to those people, there are alternatives. But again, uh, this video was sponsored by the gracious Magic Gathering Arena Assistant. Thank you guys so much for including me within your business plan. Uh, you know, it's a product that I absolutely love. I use it every single day. And this kind of video is not hard for me to make. Uh, you know, it just comes off the top because of my uh, involvement using it day to day already. So, you know, you have my full hearted blessing uh, upon this, you know, getting so much better. And I really do recommend it. So check it out for free to everybody on Windows in the link in the description below. And of course, let me know what you think. Let me know what things you would like to see added to it. Because obviously, as someone who has a direct line to the creator, we can fast track those things. And a lot of you guys have really good ideas. So share them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And of course, share the channel to all of your friends. Bully everybody on an Android phone to download uh, you know, magic as soon as it's available to them on the 28th. And we want to you know, have the magic community just explode. Uh, you know, I'm going to really push that as my goal. I know a lot of other creators are as well. And we are pleading to you guys as well. Help share magic to your friends on Android. Uh, let's really grow the community and see what we can make of it. So thank you again for your time and attention. Take care and we will see you soon in the next video.